Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the power of tables in Excel. Excel tables are a dynamic and powerful way to manage data, making your work more organized and efficient. We'll walk through how to convert data into tables, use table-specific functions, and explore the advantages of using tables for dynamic data management. Let's get started. Before we jump into creating tables, let's quickly define what a table is in Excel. A table is a structured range of data that makes it easier to sort, filter, and format information. It also allows you to use special functions and dynamic features that aren't available for regular ranges. Here I have some sales data for a small business. Right now, this is just a simple range of data, but by converting it into a table, we unlock a lot more features that make working with the data easier. Let's start by converting this data into a table. It's simple, just highlight the range of cells you want to include in your table. In this case, I'm selecting the entire data set, including the headers. Once you've selected your range, go to the Insert tab and click on Table. Excel will automatically detect the range and ask if your table has headers. Make sure this option is checked and then click OK. Now, the data is formatted as a table and you'll see that Excel has applied default formatting and added filter buttons to each column header. Once your data is converted into a table, a new tab called Table Design appears in the toolbar. This tab provides various options for customizing and managing your table. Let's start with naming the table. By default, Excel names tables as Table 1, Table 2, and so on. It's a good practice to give your table a meaningful name, especially if you have multiple tables in your workbook. I'll rename this table to Sales Data for Clarity. This makes it easier to reference the table when using formulas or managing data. Now that we have a table, Let's explore the benefits of using tables in Excel. One of the biggest advantages is that tables automatically expand as you add new data. Watch as I add a new product below the table. Excel automatically expands the table to include the new row. This feature makes it easy to keep your data organized without needing to manually adjust ranges. Tables also come with built-in sorting and filtering options. You can click on the drop-down arrows in the column headers to sort your data alphabetically, numerically, or by any other criteria. You can also filter the data to display only the information you need. This is a quick way to manage and organize large sets of data without having to use manual sorting methods. One of the most powerful features of Excel tables is the use of structured references. These references allow you to create formulas that automatically adjust as your table grows. Let's create a new column called Total Sales that multiplies units sold by price. As you can see, I'm using structured references, which automatically reference the columns in the table by name, rather than by cell reference. This makes the formula easier to read and understand. Plus, if I add more rows to the table, this formula will automatically apply to the new rows. With structured references, you don't need to worry about manually copying formulas or updating ranges. Excel does it for you. Tables also allow you to easily format your data for better readability. Let's explore some formatting options. Go to the Table Design tab and take a look at the table style options. You can choose from a variety of table styles to customize the look of your data. For better clarity, you can also enable banded rows which alternates the color of each row, making it easier to read your data at a glance. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors and styles to find the one that works best for your data. A well-formatted table not only looks professional, but also makes your data more accessible. Another useful feature is the total row. By enabling this option, Excel adds a row at the bottom of your table where you can quickly calculate totals, averages, or other functions. For example, I'll add a total for the revenue column, and you'll see that Excel automatically sums up all the values. You can also change the function to calculate an average, count, or other statistics with just one click. Additionally, when you have a table selected, you can use the Quick Analysis tool that appears in the bottom right corner of the table. This tool offers shortcuts for adding charts, conditional formatting, and more. Let's use it to quickly create a chart based on the sales data. Charts are a great way to visualize your data, and using the Quick Analysis tool makes it fast and easy. If, for any reason, you want to convert your table back to a normal range, Excel makes it easy. Simply go to the Table Design tab and click on Convert to Range. Excel will remove the table functionality, but keep the formatting. Keep in mind that by doing this, you lose some of the dynamic features like structured references and automatic expansion. And that's it for today's video on working with tables in Excel. We've covered how to convert data into tables, 
use table-specific functions, and take advantage of Excel's dynamic data management features. Tables are a powerful tool that can make your work more efficient and organized. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Let us know in the comments what other Excel features you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.